We previously discussed Marcus Aurelius's morning routine, but what if you want to equally make use of the evening to end your day well and set yourself up for the next day? Well, then this video has been created for you, as we look at Marcus Aurelius's and generally a stoic evening routine and what you can take from it to help benefit your well-being and your life. Number 1. Reflect Just as in the morning you need to reflect on your purpose for waking up and what duties you need to complete that day to ensure you meet that purpose, in the evening you need to take time and reflect on the day you had, looking at what went well and what didn't, as well as what can be improved. It needs to focus on the self, on your performance and your achievements or failures, because ultimately that's what you can control and therefore change. Seneca suggests doing this by asking three questions. What bad habits have you put right today? Which faults did you take a stand against? In what respect are you better? Number 2. Have a court session when self-examining your day, you need to do so with as much objectivity as possible to ensure that you maintain a rational state of mind and aren't governed by emotion. Therefore, treat it almost as if you're in court, whereby you act as judge and review your actions, with impartiality and fairness towards yourself. Doing this will not only help you identify your successes and mistakes, but allow you to pass judgement on how to follow up on them. For example, if you make mistakes, you accept them and try not to make them again, while if there's incomplete tasks, you promise yourself to fulfil your duties the next day. Number 3. Control Emotions The point of the court session conducted in your mind or when alone is that you remove emotional elements to the facts to help you understand the core of what was achieved in the day. If you don't do this, we have a tendency to let emotions influence our state of mind and thus distort the reality of what was achieved and how we saw it. For example, you might think you did a task poorly during the day because the outcome wasn't as you might have expected, but the reality might be that you did the task as well as it could have been done, with the issue not being the quality in which you completed the task, but an external force which influenced the outcome beyond your control. Number 4. Forgive The previous point leads us to also move on to this point, which is we need to maintain a mindset of forgiveness for ourselves as long as our intention is to improve. After all, we're human and know we all have imperfections that govern our results, yet we often set impossibly high standards for ourselves. This leads to a lot of negative self-talk or a lack of self-esteem as we struggle to accept our failings and move on to continuing through life. Therefore, during this process of self-reflection, it's equally important to accept and forgive our mistakes, instead with a growth mindset to not repeat the process. Number 5. Self-improvement Everything in the process of this evening routine is to seek a process of self-improvement, learning from what you do well and what you do less so. This is a fundamental part of Stoicism, it's critical to seek self-improvement and in order to do this you need to objectively understand what you've accomplished. With the process of reflection on each day's activities, you can seek to identify what you do well, where to improve and how to take the next step in growth. So just like the morning, use the evening to help your personal journey of growth, to help you towards fulfilling your purpose in life. What do you think of the mindset Marcus Aurelius had when doing his evening routine? Let me know in the comments section below. Please like, share and subscribe as we help you live life on your terms. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to ensure YouTube notifies you of the latest uploads. Thanks for watching.